Hi, my name is Cassie, and I am the SIPA Marketing Chair, and here we are with part two of our mini-series with Caitlin Burvey, who's going to talk about what to look for when joining a book critique group. But first, I'm going to let you introduce your company, Caitlin, and what you do really quickly. Sure. So my company is Ignited Ink Writing, and I am an editor and a writer. So I edit books and short stories and all that good stuff. Perfect. Okay. So now we left off with a cliffhanger last time, and we're going to talk about, we're talking about editing the book, what to do, you wrote it, and what you do from that point on. And you mentioned at the end something about a book critique group. So right. what's the timing? Mm -hmm. How do we find one? And should we use one? Yeah. So I recommend everyone at least try a critique group. I think they're amazing because it's basically writers helping writers get better. And a good critique group is for you is one that meets with, so they meet in a way that works with your schedule. This could be monthly. It could be weekly. It needs to meet in a place that's close to you, or it can be online and at times that work with your schedule. So that's the first thing you need to find in your critique group. The next thing you wanna look for are people who give constructive feedback. So the difference between just feedback and constructive is with constructive, they're not just telling you what's wrong, but how to fix it. Okay. So if you have a character who maybe needs more internal thoughts happening in a scene, they'll suggest places you can do that. Whereas someone who's just giving feedback will say this needs more internal thoughts. And that's not as helpful as saying, well, you could put them here and here and here. Okay, so book critique groups, from writer to writer, how do you let go? Again, that letting go, how do you trust people with your baby? And yeah. how, do you, how do you take that feedback? And should you always take that feedback? So you don't always take it. A good thing to do is to go to people who you respect as writers and try and join their critique group because that right off the bat is going to make it easier to take their feedback. If you like them as people, if you get along well and you kind of speak the same language, and if you like their writing, you're going to trust what they have to say about your writing more than just some random person. And you, at the end of the day, you are the author. So you get to decide which feedback you're going to implement and which feedback you're just going to leave there. And that goes for editors too. Okay. Yeah. I love that. I love that. We became authors because we wanted to put something out there. And so we don't right. want that power taken away in a way. So having someone telling us it's, it's great to know that you can collaborate with other writers, but you don't have to take their feedback. But right. if you trust them, that makes it a little easier. I like what you said. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And when you do a critique group, usually there are like five to 10 people in the group. They might not all be at every meeting. And so if you have one person who says, well, I don't like this part, but you have five people who say you have a problem with this part, you might go with the five and maybe ignore the one. Just, you know, think of them as an outlier. Yeah, definitely. If somebody's telling you there's a certain part that needs working over and over again, you might want to listen to that. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. I love it. Okay. So location, finding them closest to you. Is there a specific place where you recommend people find these book critique groups? There are. There are a couple. So one is if you take writing classes of any sort, if you go to a conference, if you're taking an online class, if you're doing a seminar and you're looking for a group, mention that. Ask, say, does anyone have a critique group that's accepting new members? Ooh. I like looking there because often you get the chance to read other people's writing in those classes. Okay. So you might ask the people who you think match your style of writing or who you liked, you know, because you're going to be working intimately with them. So it's good to pick those people. Okay, perfect. And then writers organizations are a good place. You might ask SIPA, you know, hey, yeah. Does anyone have a critique group that's accepting new members? So that's another good place to look. Okay, perfect. So for you as an editor, do you recommend that your writers take their 
manuscript to a critique group first or first you? First them. Okay. So I'm a writer too. I say get all the help you can for free, then pay for it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so. Okay, wonderful. I love this. Thank you so much. I would have never thought about this tip, but I absolutely love it. And next time I'm on the on the writing path, which is probably going to happen soon, I'm going to be thinking about a book critique group. Probably yes. as I go as well, that might be helpful instead mm -hmm. of just when I end the book. So, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, my friend. Well, how can we get a hold of you? You can find me on Facebook and Twitter and YouTube um, under ignitedinkwriting.com or my name, Caitlin Burvey. You'll find it by searching any of those. Or you can go to my website, www.ignitedinkwriting.com. There's a contact form and a phone number, all sorts of things. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for your time for our mini series as well. Thank you for doing it twice for us. Very valuable. Okay. And once again, my name is Cassie from SIPA and we'll come to you next week, week, not week, week two, week <laughs> with another five minute tip. Thank you. Sure.